So first impressions, let's take a quick look at this bag, at the build quality, at just the overall functionality, and then we'll start loading it with gear and I can show you how I pack my camera bag. So starting from the back, what we have is if we open this zip, the main compartment, nice heavy duty zips, and we come to this. And like pretty much all of Peter McKinnon's bags, I think the back opens fully with the straps included, which makes it super easy. Looking here now, we have these dividers. These are a little bit different to what I've seen previously. They do kind of have like some rigidity to them. Typically, these dividers are kind of like soft sponge, basically just sponge and cardboard. And just like anything else, they are Velcro. Very easy to move around. It's actually quite a nice like polymer type Velcro, which I think is gonna last a bit longer than the, the old kind of fabric type that tends to kind of start to get a little bit frayed over time. By the way, if there's kind of just like a hum in the background of this video, I'm gonna try and edit it out. But uh, to get this cool shot, I, I have to put up with it, unfortunately. And uh, therefore, so do you. We'll get to the top in a minute, but just looking on the inside here, we have two nice zip pockets. Zip again, pretty decent and there's a little bungee cord in there. So one big, large, big, large, one large single pouch just here. And at the top, we have two on that side, which if you look at that, I'm sure Peter and Nomatic thought of this, but that is pretty much the perfect size for a filter. So extremely convenient. Uh, it's nice to see a bag that's been designed by and for photographers, for videographers, uh, that actually takes into account things like that because, again, maybe I've just been using shitty bags my whole life, but I find that in general, the bags just aren't designed specifically to house things that photographers and videographers actually use on a regular basis. They typically have just kind of like pockets that they expect you to just fill in some manner, some way, shape or form. So this is really nice to see from every level how they've designed this to fit different things that you actually need to use. So that's pretty much that for the inside. See the lovely little logo there. Peter McKinnon, Cross Nomadic. Nomatic. God, I'm starting to sound Canadian. Nomatic. Nomatic. Little branding with the little Peter McKinnon. Peter. Peter McKinnon. Nomatic camera bag. James. As stupid as it sounds, this zip. This, this zip. I can't get over how good that feels. On the back here actually, there's kind of like a little secret compartment. So just behind, which I presume is for a laptop, which is fantastic to have. Super thick padding, like thicker than, than most. Again, like I think one theme I'm noticing very quickly with this bag is just everything is solid. Like everything is extremely sturdy to the, from the pull handle to the zips to the foam padding, even the foam is more rigid than what I've seen in other camera bags. I have this lovely padding on the back. You have what I presume is a luggage hook here for putting over your wheelie if you're going around the airport. So moving on to the front now, or in fact, before we go to the front, the side, we have side access here, given that I'm right-handed and I presume they were designed kind of for right-handed people. You're probably gonna be holding it over your right shoulder like this. Being able to just do that is really nice. Like the, the brevity that I used previously has this, but it has it on the other side. And what that means is you have to wear it on your left shoulder if you wanna do this trick. I'm always a little bit concerned about side pockets just because of the kind of security feature of that. Like you're walking through a crowded area, someone can still pull that open if it were me. I probably, if I'm walking through a crowded area, I just walk like this. And as you can see, I'm covering that back pocket. So to be honest, I feel like it'd be pretty tricky for someone to nick something while I'm walking like this. So that's the side. Uh, nothing on the bottom of note other than a base. Although, let's do the test. Oh, oh, oh. Peter McKinnon said it would stand up. Let's try that again.
one thing I always forget to mention in these review videos, this video is not sponsored. I was not sent this product in exchange for any kind of compensation. And uh, yeah, I have no affiliation with Peter McKinnon or Nomatic, although I must admit I wouldn't mind if I did. So all of my opinions herein are my own. I can say what I want when I want because I bought this with my own hard-earned cash. So take from that what you will. So going to the top now, we have a top access compartment as well, which also goes directly into the main compartment. Yeah, that's, that's cool. The shelf doesn't have Velcro on the back, so it just sits just below the zips, like just below. So when you, if you need to get access to your filters, which you put in those top pockets, you actually can, which is, that's super cool. So just in front of that, there is another zip just on the top here, the mat. And you have kind of like a finger deep pocket in there. I mean, if you you have smaller hands than me, you could probably fit your, your hand in there as well. But anyway, uh, nicely felted. So again, I presume like you can put delicates in there, whether it's gonna be a couple of extra filters or whether you put your, like drop your memory cards in, maybe sunglasses. That might be what it's designed for. Just realized I missed the other side. So on the other side of the bag, you don't even really know that something's here. But if you need to, you can get access to that pouch. It's got a nice, decent quality elastic there. I presume this is kind of strong enough for a tripod um, by the looks of it. I don't know if I'd be able to fit my large tripod in there, but a small travel tripod should just really easily push down in. And then interestingly at the front, you do have another little feature, which I don't even know what it is, but I kind of just spotted it and I think I know what it might be. But you can see you pull this out and you have a little pouch here, which I presumed was for a tripod. Tuck, tuck away tripod boot. Okay, so it's for a tripod. Uh, we'll, we'll test that out in a minute to see how that works. And the final thing that we have been looking at this whole time and have not mentioned, besides this nice little Peter McKinnon and Nomatic, is this, which they call the which they call the external carry system. And I have no idea how to use this and I don't know what you're supposed to use it for and I'm not gonna Google it because um, why would I? We do have this little bongo tie type majiggy. So I presume this is for detaching things to the bag. We, we have a thing. It's adjustable, which is nice, like this. It's elastic. I mean, I have absolutely no idea if this is the purpose for which this was intended, but anyway. Okay, so let, let, let's just say I haven't quite mastered the, uh, the external, external carry system, um, but, but that, there's an example of how, how you could use it, I, I guess. Um, which actually, I don't hate. I like the fact that it's there. It's, it's better than not having anything, so uh, I, you know, let me know in the comments below what you would use this for because uh, I currently have no idea. So I'll just remove the second. So, I mean, if I was carrying this tripod, like this one is uh, super compact, I'd probably just chuck it in there. I don't know if it's kind of designed for that amount of weight, but tie, tie that on over here. So if you want to utilize the tripod, Foot, tripod boot, uh, whatever it's uh, it's called. I mean, it's not, it's definitely not designed for that. Um, I presume you just put one foot in there. I think this tripod is too small. Mr. James, the engineer, Dr. James, can't work out in camera bag. I, I don't think I'm doing this right. Uh, the other thing I do have here is the rain fly. Oh, that wasn't a bitch at all. I mean, it's the nicest rain hood I've ever seen. Rain coat, rain jacket. I don't know what this is called. Rain fly. It's a very sleek rain fly. The sleekest rain fly I've ever seen. So yeah, good job. Good job on that. It's nice that it packs down into its own bag because uh, my other camera bag has this rain fly, but it's, it's constantly, it's, I have this, this sort of slot in the front and it just, it just stays in there. It's lived in there for, I don't know, the best part of five years and I've never once used it. So uh, 
yeah, I guess a lot can be said about that. Especially since my camera bag is pretty much waterproof. Here comes the fun part. Getting it in was actually easier than pulling it out. Who would have thought? Folds up, super nice little compact bunch. That's one of those things. Here we go, found a use, found a use for it. Look at me being all correct and shit. So yeah, if, you're, uh, if you know you're going out in adverse in conditions, adverse environment, you just clip it onto your bag. Fantastic. So I must admit, I didn't really think ahead too much to today's video because a big part of this being my everyday camera bag was I wanted to show you guys how I pack it because uh, much like my previous video, Video? What my video? Why my wee 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 wee? I think it's always interesting for you to see how different people who use camera gear all the time uh, pack the various items that they have. So I'm gonna show you kind of how I pack it with some of the gear that I have. I don't have everything with me. That that's where I fucked up. I didn't I didn't bring my typical lenses. This one. See how easily that opens, and you'll just see the the comparison here actually of, of my other bag. So. Other bag typically will be laid down like this with the straps. You have to put those to the side. And then you have to do this, but the annoying thing, see that? You kind of have to like tuck it under the bag, which then makes it, it it's just stupid. Like it, why, why do that to yourself? You're gonna want side access somewhere here. Cool thing about this is that it has this kind of like flexible end to it. Fixed portion with the lens, which makes sense because that piece is solid and that cradles that quite nicely. It's really quite unique to have this type of flexible partition. I've really not seen that before. It's kind of cool how you can then be a lot more creative with your shapes. You're not limited to just square pockets. My large camera, which allows me to put things like batteries in here. And then you see this shelf up here, I'm reserving for my long lenses. In fact, <laughs> I forgot. I completely forgot about these pouches. I've never had pouches before. Batteries in one, adapter rings or spare filters in the other. Now you immediately see how much space I have for additional lenses uh, for, you know, whatever I need. Yeah, this is how I'd arrange this camera bag. So yeah, even with uh, that big uh, film camera in there, it's pretty comfortable. It feels good. Like honestly, I could carry this all day, like I would have no issue. It's less like I'm carrying all my gear at once and it's more like I'm ready to go on a day out, you know? You know? Obviously tripod would then go in the side. Just, uh, just there. And uh, I'd reserve my exterior, my external carry system for whatever I need it for. Uh, which I'm sure will work out together eventually. So just a few closing thoughts on this bag. First of all, cost. This thing isn't particularly cheap, to be honest. Uh, it retails for about 220 US dollars, 300 Canadian dollars, which is well above and beyond anything I've spent on a bag before. But when you think about something like the brevity that I was using previously, which which was actually sent to me, unlike unlike this one, uh, it's actually not that much of a difference. Like I think the brevity is about 170, 160. Uh, so 220 is is not a massive difference, considering that this is, in my opinion, a much more professional camera bag. And I think the fact that the size of this is so convenient, the fact that it fits everything that I need it to, the comfort level, the quality of just all of the components, I can I can really see this being my, my everyday uh, lifelong camera bag. So who is this for? I think there's kind of a wide range of people that could buy this. I think if you're a like just a hobbyist photographer, if you go out with your friends and maybe you take like a single film camera or just a camera with a zoom lens, I don't think you necessarily need to to spend the money on something like this. You, you're just gonna have your camera around your neck or in a small shoulder bag. If like me, you're a more of a serious shooter, but you, you go out on day excursions, you go out on small trips, small holidays away. Basically, if you're a YouTuber, this is the perfect bag. This has 
just enough space to fit, you know, your B-roll lens, your vlogging lens, maybe a small vlogging camera, your main camera, a tripod, like everything you need. So definitely check it out. Check out the website, check out Peter McKinnon's video. Um, if you wanna know anything about this, feel free to drop any questions you have in the comments below. Drop any thoughts you have on how you would use this uh, and more importantly, how you'd use this this thing. If you did like this video, if you found some value in it, please don't forget to like, hit that like button just at the bottom there. And then of course, once you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can find out when videos like this come out in a timely manner, like this one, which is coming out on the day or at least very close to the day that this becomes officially released to the public. So all of that out the way, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one.